Okay, hi guys, we're excited to be here. It's an honor to be here with you. We are Team Collision, and we chose the name Collision because it represents how data and creativity can come together to create impactful solutions and decision making. So here we are on a short break from our 24-hour hackathon. We steps outside to get a little bit of sunlight, and as you can see, we were from all over the world, from Wonderman. We actually first met, uh, met each other here at the hackathon and had never worked together with each other, but we had a great time. So let's talk about what, they, what we were faced with. When we showed up um, on Saturday morning, we were given some data sets, 24 hours, and two challenges. One, can, the business challenge. We needed to provide a point of view on how digital strategy information and community word of mouth could predict how sustainability first brands could resonate with the community. And second, as, as you've seen, we had to predict a search index for a very specific week in January using the data sets provided. Uh, so optimizing the data is as important as building a model, if not more, for, as for all solutions. Uh, so we did just that. So we see adjusting for any inconsistency or errors or missing values for the predictors. That this could be as simple as uh, fixing the typos of a brand names or uh, reforming the sales date. Also transforming, aggregating, or reducing dimension of the data, uh, which can be rolling up daily data, daily Twitter data into a weekly, or making decisions to exclude certain predictors of a poor quality data. And lastly, we, part uh, we partitioned the data so that we could test the model performance later. So after carefully optimizing data and uh, inspecting it, we came to a conclusion to build a ideal model. We need uh, to predict the feature value of a uh, growth. We need to take advantage of the historical data of growth for each brand. So time series model became our baseline for each brand, and we overlaid models with additional inputs such as sales, media spend, and Twitter mention volume to increase the performance. After the model was built, we evaluate each solution visually, and we also applied any accuracy test, and we chose the model with the lowest error margin. In order to understand the data, um, we used various charts um, to explore the data provided. This allowed us to, in a visual way, understand the levers that can pull um, which would influence the results um, the predict of the predictive model. So what you can see on the screen um, is a dashboard we created um, within the Doma platform, and it's an actual working dashboard where you can go in and choose the brand you want, choose the, um, the date period you want to report on, but then also importantly to actually see the predicted results come through in the data. So this is, in terms of a business application, for brand managers, very important. So they can, one snapshot can see, exactly what the data is telling them. So for instance, you can see media investment doesn't necessarily relate directly to sales, but that's a story that the data tells and that you can then go and drill into a lot deeper. Um, on the right-hand side, we then had the predictor of growth, which was the search index. So there we can see we applied our predictive model and that gave us what we could expect in future for that search index that is the indicator of growth. As always, there is room for us to give uh, an improvement to them, this model. And this is for us to give a wider solution to the client. In this case, we, we are proposing for future iterations treating digital brands, groups, and channels as discrete variables, factor for seasonality, and much important is enriching the models by analyzing conversation. This means taking into account sentiment, emotions, and grouping the conversation into topics. And let's talk about that. So this is where we get really excited about how we could extend the model and how we could build it, build it with more data and bigger data sets. So when we really dig into the word resonate, we decided that we would need uh, additional data to truly understand what's resonating with each brand. So there are three areas. First, we would want to dig into the topical data to understand what's driving customer action. We want to dig into the conversation data to see what emotions are most relevant to driving that impactful customer engagement that's driving growth. 
And lastly, we want to dig into what, is, what true sentiment is associated with those growth impacting conversations. So let's talk a little bit about how we would do this. So first of all, there's, in the last 18 to 24 months, there's been a ton of innovation in, in the realm of machine learning and especially deep learning. So that gives us access to tools that we can use to, really, to acquire this kind of data. So this is uh, one of Unilever's brands, Organic Valley, and, and a clustering of the topics that uh, we loaded some data and this is what the output was. But beyond just visualizing it, what's interesting is it actually scores every individual conversation at the row level so that we can understand and feed into a model what, topics are, what, what the topics are and how they relate to the other topics. Similarly, for another uh, Unilever brand, Burt's Bees, we loaded into another tool, um, conversation data, to understand the emotional profile of the, brand, of the conversation brand. This would give you, again, not only a sense of what the emotions are, but give you the granular data that you would need to feed into a model to be able to predict what emotions are most important in, to driving growth. And third, sentiment. So, you know, sentiment's been around for a long time, but uh, uh, it's been difficult to do. It's been based on single words. But today, with AI-based solutions, we're able to load a, a single conversation in, and it automatically analyzed and produced this to, to understand the language so that we can have a true measure of sentiment that we can then, again, load into a model. So what does this all mean? In once we have, you know, on top of the or data we were given, when we load topic and emotion and sentiment data, we can then feed it into a model and start to have new levers to drive growth. So for example, when we have topic data, we can understand which topics we should engage in, and especially for a sustainability first brand, we can understand the landscape of initiatives that are sustainable, sustainability related and understand where to engage with PR and communications. Similarly with emotion, once we understand the emotion we need to connect with our customers to actually drive not just uh, engagement but actual growth, we can inform our messaging and creative, and with sentiment, then we can actually understand those conversations at a deeper level and even go deeper to, su to such a degree that we can start to inform things like product development when we understand true predictive uh, sentiment that, that influences growth. So putting this all together, you can see in the bottom right corner of our, of our growth dashboard, now we have sentiment and we have emotional indexes for a particular brand so that you could select a particular brand, a time frame, and start to see what is most important and what the sentiment is and what the emotion, emotional index is. So thank you. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. It's been an honor to be here.